I have the uh, transmission split across uh, off the engine. This is the, you have your plate here. Uh, two, two bolts here, one, two. Uh, you have to get them from underneath. They're uh, a quarter inch special socket there. Um, or E8. I uh, put a screwdriver into the hole there. Mine was so worn it could spin around freely there. Stick a screwdriver in there and then uh, uh, give her a twist. That one's a 10. 10 millimeter for this guy right here. Oh no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, twist her off and then you can take her out. Um, your, your new balance shaft should come with a new weight. So don't worry about uh, keeping that weight. But definitely do not lose that screw. Because I'm pretty sure it'd be a big pain in the butt to find one. Now, uh, to get access to these two bolts here, I found it was easier if you removed uh, this plate right here. So it has the four bolts. One, two, three, four. And uh, you remove those just so you can move your steering rack here a little bit more. And then you're going to need a 5 8 wrench uh, just to hold the nut on top. Uh, give her a twist. Honestly, to do this, I, I strongly suggest buying one of these little extension ratchets. They're really nice to quickly break it. Then you can use your impact to uh, twist her off. But uh, once again, bag all your bolts. Split that off. Take your balance shaft weight off. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, it's everything you need to do on the rear. Uh, be very careful taking this, um, your uh, rear seal plate. It's a seal that goes uh, for your bottom shaft it, it seals this and then it just seals around here and it covers all that keeps the engine oil inside your engine so if you do the balance shaft repair strongly suggest getting a new a new one of those because they just it, it, you want it sealed and you don't want it leaking because it's you pull it again have to redo it again just replace it that way you know it's good now the next step is what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking off your PC PVC uh, ventilator, all your plastics, your expansion plugs, these are called. And then our main goal here is to remove your fuel rail all the way around both sides. Remove our uh, injectors, put those to the side, same side here, just so we can take out this new intake. Because I, I bought a new intake, these things, they're, they're crappy and they break. Uh, so, when you buy one of these, buy a little link kit down in here. I don't know if you can see it right in there. It's pretty dark. Um, but uh, I'll show you later on in the video. Uh, you want to replace that, the balance shaft. Next steps here we're going to be doing is taking off your harmonic balancer, your water pump, your coolant pump, your alternator, your AC, your oil pump. You can leave on your tensioner pulley. Uh, this is your AC. This is your oil. This is your oil filter. This is your power steering uh, um, reservoir. And then what we're going to be doing is taking off our, our, our we can leave the sensors in our uh, crankcase. We're going to be taking off these cases on the front. And then we're going to be taking off our tops here just so we can uh, set our timing, take off our exhaust actuate, actuators on both sides. And then on the bottom, uh, we're going to be taking off bolts, just enough bolts out of the oil pan to uh, drop the front plate off. Now, before you go reefing on your timing plate, the reason why we're taking uh, these off is because inside here, right down in here, there's two bolts that, that drop down into the timing plate through here. So you got to get these bolts out and you can only access them through inside in here. So got to take those bolts out on both sides there's two it's a pain in the butt but you got to take those off so you can pull your timing plate off and once all of this stuff is off then we can uh begin to pull our shaft or balance shaft put our new slides in our new balance shaft put our uh, set our timing uh our uh, timing adjuster sprocket set everything according to proper timing set our timing marks put in our new chain Yada yada, put her timing case back on. Uh, just stay tuned. 